that one of those touchscreen phones? Yeah, it's an iPhone. How's the coverage with those? Sorry? How's the coverage? It's fine. I've got one of these old bricks. It's old, but it does the job. I've had it for years now. Never had any trouble with it. How's yours for water damage? I don't know. I went out one night and got completely hammered. I woke up the next morning, still wearing all my clothes, and I'd wet myself. I'd left the phone in my pocket, and it still worked. It worked totally fine. You pissed on it? Yeah, it was completely soaked. I bet yours wouldn't work after 10 points of piss. No, I don't think so. Had this woman in the car earlier on. I was bringing her out to the shopping centre. She was a nice, elderly lady. We were chatting away for about five minutes about public transport and buses and all that. And then she leaned over and let out a fart. <laughs> I couldn't believe it. It was really loud. <laughs> and she just kept talking like nothing had happened. <laughs> it was incredible. That's disgusting. Oh, and it smelled something rotten too. You can probably still smell it now. I was going to open the window, but, you know, I didn't want to offend her. Poor old woman going around farting like that. Yeah. I'm sure you get a lot of weirdos. Ha! <laughs> she was alright. I've had worse than her. It was only a fart, really, and I can't complain. <laughs> I mean, when I was a young fella, I couldn't stop farting. My mother used to kill me for it, but I just couldn't stop. Everywhere we went, I was letting them off. Better out than in, I suppose. Exactly. <laughs> she didn't see it like that, though. I remember this one time I was on the phone to a friend, and I started joking, saying, Can you hear that? What's that noise? And then I held the phone down and let off a fart. A nice, long, squeaky one. I turned around and my mother was standing there. She went nuts. And all I could hear was my friend down to the other end of the phone laughing his head off. The house phone that everybody uses. Yeah. She didn't like that. <laughs> no, I wouldn't blame her. <laughs> I was working in this public service job there a couple of years ago. I'd only started. And I was in the canteen at lunchtime with all these people I was working with. And we only had a small office, so the room we were in was really tiny for about 12 of us. And I felt this sneeze coming on. And obviously I didn't want to sneeze on all these people I barely knew. So I was going to hold it in. But it built up and built up. And just as I was about to sneeze, I let out a huge one. What? A fart? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I didn't even know I needed to. It just came out of nowhere. And with all the pressure that was built up with the sneeze, it just shot out. <laughs> That's brilliant. I was mortified. And what did they all say? Nothing. Absolutely nothing. Everyone just sat there as if nothing had happened. And you just started working there? It was my first day. Oh my god, what a first impression. <laughs> I know. The following week, they moved me from gas department to healthcare. <laughs> what do I owe you? It's um six fifty please. No problem. Now here. Don't worry about it. <laughs> Cheers mate, thanks. You don't remember me, do you? No. Well, I'm not sure. Yeah, I didn't think so. No, you look familiar, all right. 
You worked back in the Adair office, yeah? No. I met you about four years ago. Oh, yeah? Yeah, one night during the summer on O'Connell Street. About nine o'clock. I was waiting for my girlfriend and then... Sorry. I was waiting for my girlfriend and... You came by with a few lads. You were all really drunk. He asked me if I had a light. I said I didn't have one. And then out of nowhere, you just hit me. Right in the jaw. What? I didn't know what had happened. I went straight down. You hit me a few more times and then you started kicking me. Hold on a minute, what the hell are you talking about? Then your friends came over and they started kicking me too. I didn't know what was going on. I knew I shouldn't have let myself get onto the ground, but I just couldn't get back up. You all just stood around, kicking away for a few minutes. Are you serious? I'm very serious. Look, I have no idea what you're talking about. You obviously have me confused with somebody else. No. It was definitely you. You and your friends jumped me on O'Connell Street. Look, shut up for a minute. Who the hell do you think you are? I know it was you. You were all really drunk. Everyone was. There was a match on. The town was hopping. You were all wearing monster jerseys. I think one of you even had a flag. Yeah. It was the night of the monster to lose match. When I couldn't get back up, I just curled up and covered my face with my hands. He kicked me all over. Someone must have called an ambulance because I woke up in the hospital. I had major concussion, four broken ribs, a broken wrist. I had to have my nose reset. And that's as far as I can straighten my index finger. They did some brain scans on me and kept me in for two months. I didn't go back to work after that. I had to move back in with my parents. I couldn't get out of bed for four weeks. I ended up losing my job. My girlfriend. She moved away. I've seen you again since then. Just once. About a year ago. I was shopping. And I saw you in the supermarket with your wife and your baby. I couldn't believe it. That you were married. And that you were a father. It never occurred to me that you could have a family. I just couldn't believe that your life had gone on like nothing had happened. Anyway, that's it. That's how you know me. Do you remember? So what the hell was all that about? Seriously, what happened? I don't know. I didn't do anything to you, did I? I was just minding my own business. Why did you hit me? I don't know what you want me to say. We were all drunk, you know. 
was, it was the night, the night of the game, it was the final. We won that match and we were all on a high and I don't know. You're right, you know. You didn't do anything. It shouldn't have happened. It ruined everything for me. I know. And I'm sorry. Okay. So what now? What's this all about? Are you looking for compensation? Are you going to call the guards? Are you trying to find out where I live? No. No. I don't want anything. I didn't think I'd ever see you again. But now that you're here, in my car, I just, I have to say something. I just wanted you to know exactly what you did. I don't know what more to say. Look, I am sorry. If you need anything, you can call me, yeah? Just don't come back here. My name is Mark. Simon. 